These people have recently heard Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok, the first to hold the position following Sudan's 2018 revolution, has resigned, and many in the country are divided on his departure. Hamdok's departure is a big loss to the nation. He had made a lot of achievements and brought progress to Sudan, but the military were the reason he was unable to move forward on so many issues. The military is the reason we're in this crisis. It doesn't make a difference, just like he doesn't make a difference if he stays. Hamdok no longer serves the demands of the people on the street. He legitimised a takeover and blessed what they have done. And this was much less than what the people of Sudan have been calling for. Hamdok was sworn in in 2019 after the overthrow of longtime President Omar al-Bashir. He was picked by the coalition known as the Forces of Freedom and Change to lead Sudan's transition to democracy. The coalition represented the protest movement that led anti-government demonstrations against Bashir's government. But in past months, the coalition has been divided. That became the basis for the military to stage a takeover in October, placing Hamdok under house arrest and putting members of his cabinet in prison. A month later, he was released and then signed a deal to form a government of technocrats sidelining political groups. When he first took office, Hamdok's popularity was high among the protesters. And when he was placed under house arrest during the military takeover, many regarded him as a symbol of civilian rule. But the deal he signed with the military in November made him lose support of not just the protest movement, but also of the political parties that brought him to power. Some activists say Hamdok's resignation could be in the interest of the protest movement. Now that Hamdok has stepped down, they realize that they need to get their houses into order. They need to get their, you know, they need to get everything organized. They need to start from scratch. And I think also the military side needs to understand that the people will not let up. Hamdok has cited lack of consensus among political parties as his reason for stepping down. And as the political parties remain at odds, there's little hope of both coming together to name someone to replace him. Heba Morgan, Al Jazeera, 